Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now in tonight's shave, we are using my Wade and Butcher Sheffield. Just a beautiful razor, horn scales, and it is a wedge. Very nice, out of the 1800s. Excellent, excellent razor. And for our soap tonight, this is the Art of Shaving Sandalwood. And this is new old stock, so this is the tallow formula. All right, and then to start off this shave, as you see, I used Parasso Red, which is also sandalwood. Now, my question, the question of the day for you is, what do you do for a pre-shave? All right, go ahead and put that down in the comments and let's find out what everybody does. I'm really interested in this one. All right, I don't always use a pre-shave, but from time to time I do. All right, now, I have had that puck blooming, all right? So let's pour that off as well. And we're gonna put that on as pre-shave. That's part of my pre-shave routine, all right? Anything you can do to uh, hydrate that beard and get everything uh, really moist is gonna be a plus. So I always do put the bloom water on and it helps, it helps hydrate the beard, it really does. And for a soap, our uh, brush tonight, uh, I'm using my Omega 10098 and let's get that soap loaded up. Yeah, all right, we made it to the weekend. Hopefully you're having a good weekend, yep, yeah. and able to spend some time with family and friends and really enjoy yourself relax have some downtime that's what it's all about you know we have to relax we have to have some downtime just you know be with good people i really enjoy you showing up because you're good people really are i enjoy having positive people in my life. How about you? Yep. There we go. I am making a horrendous mess out of this, but it's okay. It is going to be fantastic. It really is. So we're just going to clean up around that bowl and get the goodies out of there. And now I got some proto lather here as well. And it is quite a bit, but that's all right. Good stuff. I just soon hydrate that beard and get it going. There we go. Nice. All right. Now I'm just gonna get those hands cleaned up and dried off good because. Hello Bay Soap is slick. Yes, it is. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get our lather on. All right. There we go. Kick it up. Let's just kick this up a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Oh, 
Oh yeah. There we go. We got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, hopefully you've been enjoying the Straight Razor Edge Friday specials. I do them on the first and third Friday of every month, and I'd really appreciate if you had any questions, ideas for Straight Razor Edge Friday special, or anything that I can film, go ahead and put it in the comments, and we will make it happen. All right. And hopefully you've been enjoying my Friday specials at this point. All right, here we go. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Uh, down in this, the description, I have got a whole bunch of playlists and things like that there for you. And even individual videos that I think you might be interested in. Go ahead and check it out in the description. All right. Now this first pass for me is primarily with the grain, okay? Except here on my neck. Right in there, that's gonna be across the grain. That was with the grain, and now this is going to primarily be with the grain. There you go, look at that. Nice. Really a sweet razor. Definitely is. And check this out. Wow. Great cushion. And uh, like I say, this is new old stock. The tallow based formula. Really good. Really good. All right. Nice. Okay. Now we're switching hands. We're going to do this other side. And again, stretching. So important. You have to stretch, get that skin taut.
and that was pretty much across the grain. This is going to be with the grain. There we go. Nice. And the, look at this salt. Great cushion. Really nice. Works well with the straight razor. There we go. Pass one complete. Nice. Yeah, I hope you're having good shelves. I really do. Yeah, if you're having good shelves, you could also leave that in the comments. I know Stephen was telling me here just the other day, he's having epic shaves, which is awesome. You know what I mean? Absolutely awesome. All right, this is pass two. And let's do this. Yeah, well done, Steven. Epic shaves. Wow, that is so cool. And by the way, I do the Shave of the Day videos on Wednesday and Sunday. So you could always stop by and check that out. Yep. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now, this is pass two, so that's going to be cross the grain on my neck here, against the grain here, and against the grain here, like that. All right, let's do this. And see, I'm stretching with my hand, I'm blowing my cheek out, trying to taunt all my skin to get the best shave. Nice. There we go. Okay. Switching hands. We're going to do this other side now. Yeah, maybe got a little close there. 
This is uh, really a pretty straight blade for that chin. I got this, you know, bumps out here and here and kind of goes in here as a hollow. So, yeah, no big deal. Now switching up that handle. So your face are going to be more difficult than others. You're going to just have to learn to deal with it and figure out the right angle of attack. You know, that is no big deal right there. And what we can always do is just put a little soap on it anyway, and that's going to take care of it pretty well. So there we go. Done. <laughs> All right. Now, switch your hands. We're going to do this other side. Okay. And we'll get this done. Nice. Really good. Get that washed on. Oh yeah. 
teeth right where we need them. Yep. So far so good, looking good. All right. Now, next up is the half pass. And that is primarily going to be my jawline and my neck, that's it. And what that does for me, that is gonna get a cross the grain. Um, against the grain, sorry. <laughs> that would be against the grain. And that is actually gonna finish my neck off beautifully. And it is gonna work so well. It'll be just fabulous, fabulous. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now, let's do this. Now that's close. Fantastic. That is really close. That is awesome. Definitely. Wow. Really that buffing on the neck does good. A little kind of weeper there, but no big deal. You really get a good shave though. Nice, really nice. Maybe hit a little spot there, but again, no big deal. There you go, nice. Another shave in the books, yes. Really good. I think this one is it. Oh, wow. Wow. That neck is brilliant. Yes, it is. 
Oh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, now alum everywhere. Now what that is, this is a antiseptic and an astringent all in one. So it does wonders for the skin. There we go. First step in repair and for aftershave tonight, I am using Bayer's Extra Cool. And this has got like a little hint of grapefruit in it, which is awesome. And I really enjoy it. I do. And we just put that everywhere because it's good. It is good. And for our aftershave, cologne kind of thing. Brassel Red, and this is the sandalwood again. So this is really working out as far as a sandalwood shave. Oh. Mm. oh yeah, that's good. That works, it does. And that's actually a face tonic as well. But I'm still finishing off with Nivea Post Shave Bomb. You know, got to take care of that face. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Good stuff. All right. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great weekend. Click right up here to see the basic beginners everything playlist. All right. And I promise you will not be disappointed. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video especially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.